Hey folks, Jason painfully on his tech back again. Today we have to talk about what is going on with OnePlus. OnePlus has been an interesting brand to follow over the past several years. They kind of were the, the flagship killer and then they tried to be a flagship and then they've uh, kind of come back and they're doing something really interesting now. It started with the OnePlus Open for me. Uh, late last year. The OnePlus Open for me was the best foldable phone that anybody put out last year. I really, really enjoyed that phone and it's kept going now all into 2024 with first the OnePlus 12, which came out just a little bit ago with some accessories that go along with it and all that. But then we've got the 12R, which I'm going to take out of the box today so we can take a look at it all together. And then the OnePlus Buds 3, which are a nice looking set of, uh, of headphones. And then most recently, the OnePlus Watch 2. There are some very interesting things going on with OnePlus Watch 2. I'm gonna take it out of the box. We're gonna look at it. We're gonna talk about all these things very briefly. And if you want me to do any kind of review of any of these things all, all together uh, or individually, let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to do that. Before we go any further, let's just go ahead and talk briefly about the OnePlus 12. Now this thing is, um, is pretty crazy. There's no overarching bells and whistles, no S pens, no decks, no nothing like that with this phone. But this phone has all of the important specs of just about any Android phone coming out in 2022, no, 2024. <laughs> it's got the Snapdragon Gen 3. It's got 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has 120 Hertz Pro XDR display, uh, fourth generation Hasselblad camera system in here as well as computational photography that's gonna give you the best possible pictures you can get. 5,400 milliamp hour battery that comes with, in the box, an 80 watt charger. And they still use these really nice red cables. I wish the cable was a little bit longer, but they still put the cable and the charger, 80 watt charger in the box. And you can also use it with this guy, which is their proprietary A1 stand Air VOOC 50 watt wireless charger. It fits very nicely. Just sit it right on there. So this flagship phone right here is a very, very nice phone. It retails for $899, but you can get good deals on trade-ins. I'll leave links to all of this stuff down in the description below, but $899 is the retail price. It comes in this green and what they're calling silky black. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. Then they have another model that is uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, and that's 799. Again, you can get really good trade-in deals on these as well. So that is uh, kind of impressive on OnePlus's part. And like I said, this phone, it even comes with a little uh, screen protector on it little that's a plastic screen protector but it's a nice it's a nice thing uh, i'm not as big a fan of the green color but uh i would have liked to have the black the screen has a nice feel to it it's kind of got a marbled look to the to the back here and uh it's a matte finish so it's very nice so that's the one plus 12. let's move on and t and and again 50 watts of wireless charging which you know, you can't really, can't really get uh, too upset about that. Next up, let's go ahead and open up the OnePlus 12R, which is their step-down model, but how much is it a step-down? Let's discuss. Let's go ahead and crack the seal here. There we go. And there we go. Safety first. Turn this big boy over. Never settle. I wasn't always a huge fan of OnePlus, to be frankly honest. Um, but if you're an Android person, they've been putting out some phones that really kind of demand your attention because the specs that they're putting in here, let's say the OnePlus 12 is at most $899 if you buy at full retail price for the for the full the fat model. Um, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is, I think, 
$400 or $500 more expensive than that. So what you're getting with the Samsung is all the Samsung stuff, but what you're getting with the OnePlus 12 is all of the Android stuff that is top of the line and most current for this year. To me, unless you're locked into Samsung or Google and you just can't go anywhere else, these phones are reasonably priced and definitely worth taking a look at. We have charging cable, the OnePlus 12R, 80 watt charging brick with cable in the box, as well as 5,500 milliamp hours of battery life and the little plastic screen protector, which is nice. It's got a fourth generation LTPO 120 hertz screen on here, Pro XDR. I always thought that was an Apple thing, but maybe it's not. It's got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 2, which is last year's best Snapdragon chip. It's got up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's got a 50 millimeter uh, Sony lens in here. You don't get the Hasselblad camera system with this. It is a very nice package for the low price of $599 for the 16 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage model, as well as $499 for the eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. And again, they're offering some pretty good uh, deals on trade-ins. The back is more of a brushed aluminum look, but it's still a, a, gl a glass back and it got a matte finish on it. Still has the same the same looking camera hump here. And again, if you want me to do a full review of any of these, uh, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. I just kind of wanted to show everybody what OnePlus is working with this year because I got this whole package from them and I have to admit, I've been very impressed. The next thing I want to look at is the Galaxy Buds 3. They're $99 and they just connect directly to your phone as soon as you open them up they connect. I haven't used them before and uh, they just they just popped right on there. So pop them out. They have a nice so, sort of uh, chromish black look to them. They fit nicely in the ears. Actually, yeah, usually come with medium tips on them and then they are boom right there. And it just get, it gives you the status of everything. You've got 100%, 100% and 100% in the case. So again, OnePlus is doing a very nice job of creating really an ecosystem. And the last thing that that ecosystem entails is the OnePlus watch. Now I'm very interested in this OnePlus watch because it has a few features that honestly, uh, I don't think any other smartwatch out there really uh, offers. And Although I didn't use the first OnePlus watch, this one is pretty sweet looking from what I've seen. So it comes out of the box. It's pretty standard fare for an Android smartwatch. You've got um, a silicone band here. This is the light steel version of the band, I believe. And uh, it's it's a very it's a soft band. It feels pretty good. Not much to complain about here. And it has the circular watch face, chrome, with some brushed aluminum look on the back. We've got some sensors back here, and uh, just go ahead and turn it on. Here we go. I like this. The charger is not connected to the cable, which is not the case for a lot of these smartwatch uh, chargers. So you can use different sizes of what looks like a regular USB-C to USB-A charging cable. It plugs right in, and then you just stick it right there. So it's got some, some pins here that lock into some, some pins there, and it just clicks on very nicely. I'll pair it here with my OnePlus 12. Immediately it pops up, it says go to Google Play. It says install this app. Installing, open, confirm, pairing, continue. I wear my watch on my left wrist, allow all of these things. And this is a very nice looking watch. Uh, you know, it's got a, that classic look to it. You can get bands that will, this has a, just a little 
latch here on the either side so you can change into new bands if you are interested in that, which I think I have a couple of bands and I might just go ahead and do that. While it gets set up, it has the W5 uh, Gen 1 chip in here, it uses Android. It's got a 1.43 inch display. You can get up to 100 hours of battery life from this guy. You've got GPS, you've got all the things that you would expect on a smartwatch. 32 gigabytes of, of storage and two gigabytes of RAM. So it's very fast and very performant. Let me take off my, my Apple Watch Ultra so we can take a look at them. Here's my Apple Watch Ultra. Here's the OnePlus Watch 2. It honestly looks like there's just about the same amount of screen real estate here. Same amount of buttons. There's a button here and a button here. Actually, I like that they're on the sides and not on here because if I'm like, if I like bend my wrist while sort of leaning on the floor or something like that, it will always trigger this and then it'll trigger SIRI. It doesn't have the multifunction but button. I mean, this is a an $800 watch and this is a $300 watch. But in general, I would say that size-wise, you're looking at around the same screen real estate. It's hard to tell square to, to the other. Fit, it only comes with one band, but I've got big fat wrists and it looks like it fits nicely on me. It's nice and fast. It will just pop up and show you everything that you wanna see. I'm gonna make this my watch for the next week or so. If you want a full review of this, then uh, let me know and I'm gonna compare it to the Apple Watch Ultra. This is V1 that I've been wearing now for over a year, almost a year and a half. And uh, I'll let you know how this compares to this and anything else that you wanna know, you can just let me da know down in the comments. So this is what you get from OnePlus this year. You get the OnePlus 12, you get the OnePlus Watch 2, you get the OnePlus Buds 3, you get the OnePlus R, 12R, if you are looking for something that's a little bit of a, a, a lesser expense, but still a very, very good phone, really, really good specs. And you get this charging stand, which is a 50 watt charging stand, 80 watt charging on both of the phones, 54 and 5,500 milliamp hour battery, 100 hours of watch here. And then these claim up to 44 hours of listening time on a charge as well. So I've got a lot of stuff I could review here. You let me know if you want me to do it down in the description below. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, anything like that. Like, subscribe, bell notify yourself, come back and see me again because, you know, I've got lots of toys to play with. But once again, thanks so much for being here. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.